It's the Real Nature Nurse here, and uh, for my first video, I'm going to do a review of the Natural American Spirit cigarette. Not specifically just this brand, but cigarettes in general, and I want to do a brief comparison between organic slash natural uh, slash your typical R.J. Reynolds factory cigarette. Um, this says here on the box uh, that it is 100% additive free and that it's a natural tobacco. Um, it still has a warning here on the side of the box that says no additive in our tobacco. Um, does not mean that it's a safer cigarette and nothing could be truer. Um, organic tobacco and organic menthol are listed as the ingredients here. Um, it does have a full bodied taste. I will give you that. And I can tell you this because I recently quit smoking and so far have been doing very well. Um, it still has a surgeon's general warning on the box. And let me tell you that no tar and nicotine is good for your baby. So if you're pregnant, there is no such thing as a safe cigarette anyways. Um, the first thing I want to say, uh, is let's look at the word natural. Um, you know, copperheads are natural around this area where I live, uh, rattlesnakes, um, but they're not really the best things for your health unless you need their anti-venom. Um, so natural does not necessarily equal healthy. Uh, arsenic is a naturally occurring substance. Aluminum, a naturally occurring, um, substance. There are many minerals, gases, plants, um, all noxious, all toxic, but yet they are naturally occurring. So please keep that in mind when you see anything that is labeled natural. I don't care if it's ice cream, underwear, or in this case, uh, these uh, cigarettes here. The other thing I want to point to uh, with these is that you've still got a filter here, okay? And this is one thing that is not natural. Um, Obviously, if it were made out of any natural fiber, um, when you inhaled and got down here uh, towards your filter, it would burst into flames, and that would be very bad, particularly if you have um, a mustache or any facial hair. Um, so what they do is um, filters are made um, from cellulose acetate. It's essentially, that's a plastic, and what they do is kind of fluff it up uh, to make it look like a fiber. And <clears throat> give it the appearance of a natural or cotton-like substance when really what you're doing is you're filtering your tar, uh, which is a naturally occurring um, consequence of tobacco. It is also what causes the stiff blackened lungs that you see if you've ever um, been to a, a, a body exhibit or an autopsy or looked online for... Um, uh, photos of uh, smokers lungs um, the tar is what causes uh, the decrease in the circulation to the lungs um, it blocks off what's called the alveoli uh, very small spongiform like um, lining to the lung which is what we need for uh, intake of oxygen and outputting uh, your carbon dioxide um, your co2 um, which is often why when people will smoke or smoke very quickly or inhale very deeply, they'll get lightheaded. Um, any chemical in your cigarette is going to reach your brain within six seconds of inhalation. So we all know plastics contain chemicals. Uh, we all know um, <clears throat> the dangers, uh, particularly when heated. Uh, you know, the big bottled water scare, which uh, in fact was warranted. Um, a lot of chemicals released when plastics are heated. Um, and of course, with a cigarette, that is exactly what you're doing. You are sucking some hot flame in through that plastic and into your lungs. So again, this is, this is a bad deal. This is not natural. This is not organic. Um, so where does the cigarette separate from cigarette to filter? Um, you can see how dirty this is. This is a used one. Uh, you figure about uh, 8 to 10 inhalations. Um, and I can tell you that these filters aren't filtering out half of 
what you're taking in. Um, the purpose of filters, uh, the more um, oxygen permeable this uh, faux cork uh, looking paper is, the more filtered your cigarette's going to become because you're going to be inhaling uh, oxygen through this porous uh, paper, microporous paper, whereas with uh, quote-unquote unfiltered cigarettes, um, this is a very airtight, um, much less porous paper, so you're not pulling uh, secondary air through here. Everything you're getting is getting drug in through um, the bottom of the cigarette, so you're experiencing a much um, deeper intake. However, that does not mean that light cigarettes are any better for you because, again, you're still inhaling plastic, and uh, that's bad. Most plastics, uh, if not all, contain petroleum, so, you know, you wouldn't smoke Vaseline, but um, ammonia, also a natural agent. Uh, we use it as household cleaners. It can be in cigarettes. Uh, angelica root, natural. It's also known to cause cancer. Arsenic, naturally occurring. It's in rat poisons. Uh, benzene, it's used in making synthetic rubbers. Uh, I don't know if you'd want to smoke a tire or if you've ever seen a synthetic rubber burn. Puts off a horrendous black smoke. Um, carbon monoxide, which is a poisonous gas. Cadmium, it's what's in our batteries. Um, just amazing amounts. Lead. Uh, in very high levels, actually, um, and, uh, you know, all lead paint was removed, but um, the paint industry does not make the same amount of money and political contributions that cigarette and tobacco companies do. So, uh, again, formaldehyde is used to preserve dead tissue, dead specimens, used in laboratories and uh, homes of mad scientists across the world. Uh, Methapremine, uh, it's an insecticide, um, again, very bad. Um, I'm trying to think of what other ones. Uh, polonium is a cancer causing, uh, it's actually a radioactive element. Um, methyl isocyanate, um, found in cigarettes, uh, was accidentally released from a chemical plant um, in 1984 and it killed over 2,000 uh, people in India. Um, so just a lot, um, you know, the same ingredients that are in mothballs can be found in your basic cigarette. Um, all these things are extremely deadly. They're extremely harmful, not only to you, but those in your environment, particularly if you're pregnant. If you have uh, children, give them a chance. This is horrific. Um, our numbers rise every year of children uh, with uh, asthma and airway related diseases um, and that's always higher <clears throat> in children with uh, parents who smoke. So um, I just want to encourage you um, that just because it says natural and it has this great looking American Indian smoking peace pipe guy here on the box, um, you know, it, it's, it, it's not true. Um, what we perceive in our mind to be natural uh, is not always good for us. So this is the uh, real nature nurse uh, reviewing the organic cigarettes versus uh, your typical R.J. Reynolds cigarette. And uh, my advice to you is uh, quit. Um, peace. Do no harm. But... Um, Take no shit.